This all comes as cases are skyrocketing in Wisconsin. The latest state data shows us that we're averaging about 5,400 new cases every day, a 40% a 40 increase in just eight days. Here to take a deeper dive into whether how we stand in this pandemic is Dr. Jeff Potoff from UW Health. Doctor, do you think that it's safe for the children to be back in the classroom right now after all the holidays? You know, I think it's safe to do in-person school, uh, but it comes with a bunch of asterisks after that. Uh, it really requires very high vaccination rates of those kids in school. That prevents more severe disease, decreases transmission. Uh, it requires very strict adherence to masking guidelines. Uh, if you are in a district that doesn't have a masking mandate, uh, that is an unsafe environment. Uh, that uh, is not something that I would send uh, my kids to. So it's possible, but it takes a lot of work. I think the trickier thing is staff. Uh, do we have enough staff who are healthy to actually teach our children? That's the other question. Yep, that's been an issue also at MPS. And the CDC recently relaxed its guidelines, cutting the quarantine time in half from 10 days to five days. Um, do you think that there's some pushback on that? Do you want to see reverse maybe adding a negative test result requirement to that? You know, I am in the camp where I think a negative rapid test result adds to that. Uh, the CDC is not wrong in that most transmission uh, has subsided by day five, uh, but with a really contagious variant like Omicron, even if there is a small amount of transmission still occurring, 15, 20 percent, uh, I think it's hard to imagine that all of those folks who are coming out after five days will wear their mask religiously for the next five days. Uh, having a test that says, hey, you're still positive uh, would be a safer way to keep those individuals in isolation until they really are not a threat to the rest of us. And we've heard about this worker shortage that's been going on doctor in all industries, but you probably have a unique look at the doctor and nurse shortage. What is that doing to hospitals, maybe even yours with this surge? It's a tremendous strain. Uh, you know, thank goodness we had vaccination mandates for our workers uh, because even though we are seeing breakthrough cases, uh, those cases are relatively mild. Uh, we are able to get those workers back after isolation, uh, but we're seeing a significant number of healthcare workers, just like every other industry, test positive, uh, which is further straining our ability to take care of the patients who want our care right now. All right, Dr. Jeff Potoff, thank you so much for your time today. A reminder, you can find the latest information on coronavirus and also find a testing or vaccination site near you to keep you and your family safe at tmj4.com coronavirus.